Eight games off the bench this year for Oba, who passes it into Tavares. And a hot start for the Hornets. They look to keep it going. Tavares to Munez, why not? Spinning, shimmying on green, and he's fouled back to the line. Just going to what's working, and that's Jevin Munez. Yeah, low man wins. It was good defense initially by Green, but then he just swipes down, clear arm contact, and yeah, they're going to Munez early and often, and just about anywhere on the floor right now. Any adjustments Coach Gillian needs to make here? You double him up? Oh, I think you got to do something right now to stop number five because he's doing everything, and this lead is continuing to grow. And uh, Chicago State almost as many turnovers as they have shot attempts right now. Four turnovers, five attempts. They've only made one. And meanwhile, Jevin Munoz has 12 points of 14. Here's Cardet. Well, if you need to break a scoring drought, he's usually the guy. But then Gene Charles is rejected. Here come the Hornets, two on one. Ali Oop is nearly flushed down by Oba. Now Robinson feeds Somerville down to Oba, and the ball ping-pongs out of bounds. Looks like we're gonna stay here with the Hornets. And Delaware State is just squashing everything right now. Love the attitude for the Hornets. As soon as anybody gets a rebound, they're looking right down the court and trying to get out and run at Somerville, who had four dunks last time out, including uh, a few alley-oops just like that, unable to finish it off. But. You know, he's pumped when he gets in the air and gets a good feed like that. But that one would have been sweet. Would have been worth two in my book. Here's Tavares. Off to Munoz. Hot hand goes down low to Oba. Sliding through into the corner for Robinson. And now Munoz, a wide open three. Yes, sir. Jevin Munoz, absolute domination. He's got 15 points of 21 total between the two teams. It's the Jevin Munoz Show when we come back. It's game day, Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant... in Chicago where Jevin Munez has absolutely dominated this game. He's got 15 points, 5 of 5 shooting, and his Delaware State Hornets are on an 11-0 run. Cougars looking to get anything. They haven't scored in over five minutes, but in the corner, Brent Davis breaks the ice. Oh, and they needed something to fall because it was a one for six start after, remember the second half versus Loyola, they were just five for 22, shot 23%. They need to get the offense going. Into the corner, Robinson feeds Tavares, freshman point guard, jumping off to Andrews. Delaware State coming off an overtime loss at Lamar, hungry for just its second true road win of the season. Down low, Oba. One on two, he's blocked from behind. Gene Charles got a hand, and then Cardet draws the foul. Cougar ball down 10. We're at the 11.51 mark of the first half. Apologies, those of you at home looking to follow time. It's Cougar ball now. By the way, these two teams met last year. First time ever we had a CSU-DSU meeting. 66 to 60 Hornets over the Cougars out in Dover, Delaware. We're now at the under 12 timeout. It's the Hornets by 10 and we're back after this. Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities and a vibrant campus life. 
Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Canes chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Cougars hadn't scored in over three minutes after the Jevin Munoz show. Had Delaware State up by 11. Brent Davis three broke it up. And now just a 10 point lead for the Hornets. Good to have you back with us here in Chicago. In the corner, Ja'Shawn Corbett missing a three off the front end. Rebound to Varez. And Max said the importance of three point shooting for Chicago State. They're one of five. Yeah, that was a big hit, though, out of the last time out. Gerald Gillian got exactly what he wanted, an open look for Brett Davis, who is only one of 12 from distance in the last five games, but hits his first look. Then they got the stop and finally got something to stop that long, big run. Top of the key, it's Oba. Just five to shoot. Out to Tavares. A three ball, not even close. And the rebound to Crawford. Here come the Cougars now. Cardet, Corbett. Gene Charles, three ball. Yes, sir. Deshaun Gene Charles, first bucket of the day. Get a couple to go in a row, both from the corners. You know the three balls are going to be up and flying all day against this 3-2 zone, and now the confidence gets to start brewing. Cougars are two of six from downtown, and now a sneaky 6-0 run in the last 90 seconds. But right after that, Brent Davis whistled for the foul. Little too antsy with the hands. That was first. That was close. He's got one steal already today. You mentioned it earlier. Leads the team now with 26 steals. Tried to pickpocket the mm. freshman from behind. Got a little bit of the forearm. I like the confidence from D. Will Tavares we've seen because I believe he's taken three shots so far. No, he's taken four shots. He's missed all four. Three of them have been not even close, but he is still letting it fly. And the freshman from Jersey's got it right now. One on two. Finds the open man, but only after he traveled. So tough start so far for the freshman point guard. And Max, this is sort of the theme for Delaware State is guys like Tavares thrust into action due to injury. Corey Perkins is out. We haven't seen Brandon Stone. We haven't seen Kyrie Statton. Three of their top players all injured. And they're very thin at point guard. Tavares, the freshman point guard, who's running the show, only sat two minutes last game. But his offense has looked great. 13 points at three straight at 19 a week ago against Longwood. Cross-court pass to Cardet. Cougars' top scorer misses, fighting for his own board. No dice. But the skip pass gave them a chance to drive into the paint and try to penetrate that zone. Ball's on the ground. Somerville battling with Corbett and a jump ball. They'll send it to Chicago State. Good fight for Ja'Shawn Corbett. And that's what they want to see more of because that's really the reason Chicago State had the lead throughout, I mean, most of the opening half hour against Loyola was because the defense was just so tough. 62-53, that was the final up in Rogers Park. Chicago State and Loyola. Corbett led the way with 14, but Wes Cardet only six points, three of 12 shooting. So he looks to bounce back, and Wes with it now. Off to Green. Cardet, three ball, and that's a rainbow in for Wesley. 
That's a 9-0 run on three triples from three different players. And they have held Delaware State off the board now for over three minutes. So this is a huge run being followed up by a huge run by Chicago State now. It feels now the like defense. a new game. Green on the steal, it's three on two. He finds Crawford with a foul, no, but Noble Crawford at the free throw line. And Max, this feels like a way different basketball game than the first eight minutes we watched. Much easier when you don't have to get into your half court set. I'm sure that Noble Crawford wanted to finish this for the and one, but momentum finally on the side of the home team for really the first time tonight. Delaware State in a struggle. They haven't scored in 3.30. So we're going to stay here with 9.15 left in the first half. Hope you're having a great Thursday night, final night in November, which means college basketball season is really hitting its stride. Chicago State coming in 2-7. and seven. Max, they haven't won a home game yet this year kind of interesting after going 8-0 and here last season. And it's crazy because I remember you and I here three weeks ago just about in that home opener versus Mercer that was a, a tight game the entirety of the way and they had a chance really to win that late. I think we used the word fortress to describe Jones Convocation Center from last year when they were 8-0. And they followed that up. That Cal State Northridge game was another one that was really tight the whole way. They went 0-2 at home and then kind of got waxed by UT Martin here. But uh, this is a team that has played their best in this venue and they're trying to get back to those winning ways in front of the home fans. We did use the word fortress, but even the best fortresses are sometimes penetrable. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, credit that Mercer team. That was a scrappy effort from them. Uh, and same could be said about Cal State Northridge. Kyrie Stanton checking in the game here for Delaware State. His last game prior to this one was eight days ago, or check that, 10 days ago. I guess my 30 minus 20 math is off. Yeah, hasn't played in the last three. Uh, you know, he's still averaging over eight and a half points per game. He's rocking a look that if you grew up playing basketball, you've certainly had to go out there on the court and play. He's got those two fingers, index and middle finger on his right hand taped up together. Crawford hits them both. And Chicago State's on an 11-0 run over the last three minutes. That's after a Delaware State 11-0 run led by Jevin Munoz. So I'm going to run going back to that timeout to the Gerald Gillian call. So uh, he's probably looking pretty good right now. Yeah, good timeout. Dueling 11-0 runs have it at 17-15. And Munoz, nice cross-court pass, just saved. A little out of sorts. That had to be the strangest give and go you've ever seen. <laughs> There's <laughs> Robinson with a 15 foot fall away. First bucket of the day for the preseason first teamer, Martez Robinson. That is a bailout of what was a possession that looked like it was going absolutely nowhere. Credit Stanton for that save all the way on the weak side. Robinson out of Baltimore, the senior. He's the top scorer, but today it's been Jevin Munoz for the Hornets as Green misses the three. Robinson clears the glass, and here come the run and gun Hornets. Munoz up and under. He has 17 points in only 12 minutes. And you just got to love the style of play from Delaware State and from Stan Waterman. I'm telling you, anytime anybody gets aboard, there's somebody flying up the wing. They've been open. Chicago State really hasn't made an adjustment. They found it. And all of a sudden, one pass, one pass and you're in transition. Munoz is 6 of 6. Rest of the team is 2 of 14. And Corbett fouled hard. He will head to the line. See who that one goes against. It's Alston Andrews. One in the blue. Another look here. Corbett shimmying for space. And he'll be at the line when we come back. 7.59 left in the first. It's Jevin Munoz against Chicago State. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Canes chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> 
At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash College of Pharmacy. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Jevin Munoz has 17 points on six of six shooting and by himself is outscoring Chicago State. Max, what's he executing best? I mean, the confidence is flowing. This guy is happy to shoot it from just about anywhere on the floor. We talked about him, I think, right out of the gate as Corbin misses the free throw. Being a three-level score, we've seen that on full display. He's getting out, he's running. I mean, 17 points, he, he has literally been perfect. He's got 20 points three times this year. I'm sure he's going to make it four by the end of the night. He has dazzled us. Corbett hitting the back end now has three points and checks out for Cam Jernigan. Delaware State and Chicago State had dueling 11-0 runs early in the game. And now we'll see what sort of flow we settle into. 7.50 left in the first half. Hope you at home are having a great Thursday night. Good battle here between two teams. Look at a break, losing stretches. Stripped to Somerville, or excuse me, Alston Andrews. That's Andrews, the Illinois State transfer. Now he's got two looks right at the rim, and they're happy to get points from anybody right now, and certainly to add some, some depth to what Munoz has done. Cougars against that zone. Ted Green off to Jernigan. Nice pass into the corner for Davis. Can't hit this time. A rebound in the corner for Robinson. Hornets ball in transition. Extra step for Alston Andrews. That's turnover number seven. I was literally in my mind thinking, man, it is so pretty to watch this team transition from defense to offense. I'm not sure they want to get the ball in the hands of Austin Andrews, the six foot ten senior from Detroit at that spot on the floor in a full sprint. Uh, that looked pretty awkward, but uh, give Tavares some credit too. He just got a nice little spell on the bench for just about a minute or so when Staten came in. Then they got the under eight media, so he's a little bit rested. He might not come out again the rest of the game. Obviously, we'll see, uh, but he's really done a good job choreographing and organizing this offense. Extremely thin at point guard. Stan Waterman's Delaware State Hornets. There's Stan. He's smiling. He's it's a sheepish grin. Yeah, he's ready to get rolling. He looks very sheepish, almost mischievous. <laughs> Telling his squad what to do as Neal drives in and a fadeaway's off. So rebound to Munoz. Three on two. Nice pass for Tavares. And that ball stuffed, but off the backboard. Cam Jernigan called for goaltending. That means two more for Delaware State. Right, Jernigan look. got up here. He's just a split second too late. Pins it to the glass, but good for Tavares to, to get on the board. He doesn't technically see the ball go in, but he gets credit, obviously, for a made field goal. Sounds like a riddle. How do you not ever see the ball go <laughs> in, but still score points in a basketball game? Without the free throw line. Goaltend. Neal, Gene Charles, and Davis all on the outside against this zone. Cardet at the free throw line, only three points so far. Open in the corner, Gene Charles. 
Now Neal, that extra pass pays off. A.J. Neal, the fourth Cougar to hit a three. And it all starts with Carnett just getting a touch of the pain. It changes the whole rotation of the defense. Kick to the corner, pump fake, extra pass. That was pretty. It was, and after a tough start shooting, Cougars are four of 10, and now Corbett with his steal. Two on one, Davis an easy bucket. Cougs within four. So Chicago State, four of 10 from downtown. Four different guys that hit a three. And now a trap at midcourt. And over the back call, we'll send it to the Cougars. That is nine Hornet turnovers. Yeah, 10 seconds, I think. They never got it across the timeline, yep. and the defense is hounding. They get the theft and then the easy layup, and now a 10-second call, and trying for another spurt here. Gerald Gillian wants his team to be a swarming, tough, hard hat type of defense. He's seeing that here, forcing nine turnovers in 14 minutes. 5.40 left in the first half. Cougars down four. And Cardet against Somerville to the hoop with the right hand. Yes, sir. And a foul. And you're seeing the great things happen when you're facing a 2-3 zone and somebody gets a touch of the paint. It's been Cardet Jr. the last two times. This time he just takes it himself. You see that 7-2 wingspan going against the 6-foot-11 Raymond Somerville. Still able to absorb that contact and get the bucket. A projected second round pick in the 2024 NBA draft. Wes Cardet was here in Chicago at Wintrust Arena just a bit north at an NBA draft camp this summer. Said he learned a great deal. High level of competition after missing the free throw he's on ball defense struggled from the line this year shooting a little bit sub 63 percent at during today the cougars as a team five of seven tonight now within two on a 7-0 run tavares a lot of dribbling got rid of it to robinson and the leading scorer knifing through with precision. Somerville misses the putback. Cougar ball a chance to take the lead. Neal wide open. He was stripped and fouled by Martez Robinson. Seemed like the Red Sea had parted for a moment. Yeah, that was a gorgeous move from A.J. Neal. They say those who hesitate are lost. Well, he hesitated and then blew by the defense. They reach it, maybe, maybe all ball there. Good defense at the last second. Fouls on Alston Andrews. Now out to Neal. And Tavares bowling over a couple chairs. Seems to be okay. And so are the chairs. Took down three of them. Cougar ball. It looked pretty rough, but he looks to be just fine. Bottom left corner of your screen, you see our team getting the chairs back and Tavares all healthy. Cougar ball 20 to shoot under five to go in the first half. Davis thinking about it from downtown. Neal a long three. Misses. He's one for three from downtown. This is Tavares falling down. Cougar ball. Two on one. Gene Charles takes it himself. Fouled hard by Somerville. Somerville second. Gene Charles can tie it here. How about that play on the floor? Was that Noble Crawford that gets this started, just dives? Yep. I don't know if he meant to throw that one up to Gene Charles, but it worked out fortuitously and right to him, and now back to the one. Three turnovers for Delaware State in the last two minutes. And now Deshaun Gene Charles, sophomore, former first teamer out of Broward County, comes to the free throw line. This is someone who, when he hits his shots, can be really a key cog for this Cougar offense. He's got an outside stroke. As you see his free throw stroke paying off, Cougars within one. A guy who would like, like to heat up a little bit, shooting 27% from deep, you could say, but that is just about almost exactly the team average, and 35% from the field, but looking to boost that efficiency and looking to tie things up right here. And he does. Even at 25, Jevin Munoz has 17 of the 25 points for Delaware State. Meanwhile, the Cougars have no one with more than seven. Two different modes of attacking. As Robinson has it straight away against Gene Charles. Makes his move off a screen and falls into two bodies. Now he's trapped. Got rid of it. 
And a whistle, we have a Chicago State foul. Looks like it's on the ball on Corbett. Yeah, no, it's out. on Gene Charles right bailout, here. Bailout foul. I think got in the cylinder was the call here, and he is leaning in with that left knee, so I, I think I got to agree with that. Tough one is possession was a little bit disjointed, and that is foul number seven, so it is a trip to the free throw line. Bonus basketball for Delaware State. As Gene Charles takes a seat. What a funky path up to 25 all, by the way. Right, couple 11-0 runs. You have one team with a guy scoring 17. The other team has no one in double figures. I mean, if you're just tuning in, you probably thought, hey, good game, close game, probably been close the whole way. No, not at all. I mean, it's State. barely been close. Haymaker one way, Haymaker back the other. Who's going to throw the third punch? Cougars down two. Draw a foul, Brett Davis. We'll go to the line. Cougars now in the bonus with the seventh team foul. I think Somerville took the worst of this, too. He might have gotten a hand up towards the eye. No, it's an elbow. Oh, right square to the face. That's tough when that call goes against you, and you have to absorb that level of contact. Ugh. I hurt for him. My eye hurts for him. I don't think I've ever been hit like that in the face. We could change that. <laughs> we got the glasses on, though. We got time. Protective First shield. Half. Hey, new man in the game for Delaware State. That's four on the bottom of your screen. Kyle Johnson, transfer from Cal State Monterey Bay. Davis hits the back end. And Jernigan checks in for him. A little more size for the Cougars. Last time we saw Cam Jernigan, he was rising high, blocking a Hornet shot. He called for a goaltend. Here come the Hornets. Robinson. Killing up the court as we approach four minutes to go. First half, Hornets by one and with the ball. The freshman Tavares bothered. Pesky Chicago State defense. That's Tristan Arnaud on the ball. And now Munoz misses his first shot. Rebound still on the ground. And Arnaud comes up with it. Nice swing to the outside. Corbett with the step through. And the Cougars have their first lead. No, nifty ball handling and the footwork, basically a hurdle. And then they get out in transition to take the lead. Just checked in the game, 30 seconds in, Tristan Arnaud making an instant impact. How does Delaware State respond? Fun one so far, as down low Robinson gets the and one to go. Well, I think your question was just answered. They haven't gone to Robinson much. That's only his second field goal. Uh, but a guy who's been a great player in the MEAC. And Preseason first teamer. And off the assist from Munez, we take a timeout. It's a good one. Delaware State by one. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Back in Chicago for what's been a funky one, and Chicago State just took its first lead of the night. Here you see some Ja'Shawn Corbett action. Ja'Shawn has five points, two buckets. And how about Chicago State from behind the arc? There's the three from Brent Davis, as the Cougars have shot four of 11 from downtown, and that is imperative against the Delaware State zone defense. Max, the Cougars have hung in it with some efficient shooting. 
Yeah, absolutely. Once they got one three to fall, they had that 11-0 run that began with three straight threes, right? It was a 9-0 spurt at first. And, well, you're Delaware State. You're playing a 3-2 zone. Somehow you're the one absolutely dominating the glass right now. It's 17-7. Uh, the disparity pretty large on the offensive glass as well, which is obviously uh, a surprise given that the team playing the zone is killing it defensively on the rebounds. And then Chicago State is just owning the turnover battle. Martez Robinson finishes the back end of an and one. Yeah, rebounding battle plus six for Chicago State. Or excuse me, turnover battle plus six for Chicago State. Rebounding battle is plus 10 for Delaware State. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that you're in the zone. You've only allowed one offensive board so far. Still in that 3-2 zone. Hornets are nothing if not consistent. Seven to shoot. Noble Crawford, nice feed to Corbett. After the fake, he loses it. Munoz scoops up a steal, and the Hornets now with speed, and Tavares is fouled by Green. Two free throws are coming for Dewilk Tavares, the freshman. That good strong take from the youngster gets all the way to the rim. Can't get the finish, but that's another foul on Kendrick Green. Almost just lost the pen there. Green second. Your pen? <laughs> yeah. That's why the little inflection of the voice almost just tossed it aside. It's okay. You can throw your pen as long as it's not at me. Are we allowed to throw our chairs? Do whatever you want. You just pay the price. There's Tavares making the second. Here comes A.J. Neal for Chicago State. And some nice spark off the bench. Neal three points so far, hitting one from beyond the arc. Checking in for Corbett. And Ja'Shawn Corbett, who's on the bench right now, suffered a gruesome injury when the Cougars were down in Mexico at the Cancun Challenge. Diving for a loose ball in their first game, he suffered a facial fracture, an impacted tooth that's really hampered him. Here's a steal for Robinson, up and under for two. Delaware State back up six. A little swing of momentum in favor of Robinson and the Hornets. Yeah, just a great trap. If you're Kendrick Green, you can't dribble it into the corner there in the front court. He gets trapped by a couple of guys, tries to slip in a bounce pass and just a heady play there for Martez Robinson. Yeah, basketball always is a game of runs, but even more so today. We've had two 11-0 runs, and now Delaware State in the midst of a 7-0 run with 2.25 left in the first half. So was saying about Jashawn Corbett, fractures his face, has this impacted tooth. He needs to get braces and, and get some procedures to figure that out. But because of it, he's on a soft food diet and tells us he's lost over 10 pounds since Thanksgiving because of this facial fracture. So he feels a little weaker and maybe needs to get a little more rest today. I think the weight that he has lost since Thanksgiving has gone to me because uh, it's a strange time of year to be, to be dropping pounds, right? But yeah, he said he's been feeling a little weak and obviously they're trying to get him back and eating solid foods and back to his normal weight as soon as they can. He says he misses food a lot. <laughs> Might be the only guy in America who's lost weight post-Thanksgiving. As Cardet has it for the Cougars. Corbett on the bench right now. And Chicago State down six. Nice in and out feed to Davis, who rattles home a tray. It's a big hit for him, a guy we've talked about. He's been struggling from beyond the arc, but two or three now for distance and cuts the lead in half. Ends that 7-0 run. He's on the ball now. Nice feed down low. Kyle Johnson misses with the left and then puts back his own miss. Almost didn't get it across half court, almost turned it over. But Delaware State, as soon as they get it across the timeline, they feel pretty good in the half court set. And Cougars just throw it away there. Munez with the alley and Oba with the oop. What a play for the Hornets. What a beautiful feed from the man who's been doing almost all of the scoring at Javin Munez. Munoz now has 17 points, three boards, three assists, and he's only missed one shot. Nearly perfect first half for five in blue. What a pretty play that was for Delaware State. Both teams are hot offensively. You know you're playing well when it, it's pretty easy to remember the one shot that Munoz did miss, right? I remember it, crystal clear. 
Neal, pocket nearly picked. It'll go the other way, Delaware State ball. Wesley Oba coming off that phenomenal alley-oop. The transfer from Florida Southwestern State moving just up the East Coast. Dover, Delaware, home of Delaware State since 1891. Just a little bit up the East Coast. Yeah, maybe a, what, 15-hour drive? Here's Munez. Throws it right to Davis, and then Munez gets it right back and gives it out of bounds. So Cougar ball with a few changes of possession. And Chicago State just won a battle of hot potato. Arnaud's going to check in. He had a nice minute. And now comes back for his second stint. Tristan Arnaud, sophomore out of Davie, Florida. Coach Gillian loves his defense, says he's a 94-foot defender. He's going to grow into a phenomenal player by the time his senior year comes around. Just a sophomore. And he's got it straight away with 15 seconds left and the shot clock off. Cougars can hold for the last shot with 10. Arno against the zone, looking for the alley, and he can't find the oop. This is Munez with three to Robinson, who puts it in. And Delaware State hits the 40-point mark just in front of the buzzer. So in a back and forth, back and forth, Jevin Munez dominated first half. It's the Hornets on top of the Cougars by nine. We'll hear from head coach Gerald Gillian during halftime and then come back to you for the final 20 from Chicago. Game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Back in Chicago, it's halftime, and Cougars are down nine to Delaware State. Well, Gerald Gillian's been with Chicago State three years now. The Floridian turned Chicagoan, really laying down a grit and grind atmosphere with his Cougars, and we had a chance to catch up with him in the latest edition of Spiraling the Staircase. Here is Gerald Gillian. That's our destination. We're here at the bottom. Sam Brief and men's basketball coach Gerald Gillian. How are you? Good. I'm doing good, man. Blessed, highly 
favorite living the dream. Absolutely, and you were the first ever spiraling the staircase victim, as I call them, right. and now we're going right back up. You remember the deal? Oh, man, I remember. Great opportunity, <laughs> man. I'm so blessed, so happy, man, to be able to do this again. Let's do it. Let's All right, go. getting right into things, it's your third year at Chicago State. What makes this team different from any other you've had? Well, we, we've had a chance to be around each other for a couple of years. We had a good amount of our offense, a good amount of our roster come back, have more than 50% of the offense come back. And now it's just continuing to jail, continuing to learn each other. And that's probably the, the best, the thing that makes us most special is being around each other for an extended period of time. What do you see as the identity of this team? Oh man, I always hang our hat on defense. We're gonna pressure the basketball. 94 feet, we're going to rebound the basketball and we're going to give you 40 minutes of aggressive south side of Chicago style defense for 40 minutes. So when people say the phrase Chicago State men's basketball, what do you want them to think? Oh, is this a one word? Give you a one word, a phrase. I'll give you a couple. Oh man, I mean, you can go south side toughness. You can go. I, I, I like to prefer that south side toughness. It just, just hits different. South side toughness. You were really far south around Thanksgiving time in Cancun, Mexico. How was Mexico for the guys? Oh, first it was hot, really <laughs> hot. Couldn't wait to get back up here to this south side weather. I'm a four season guy, but it was a great bonding experience. Got a chance to spend extended periods of time outside of the country, a lot of time to just interact with one another, and it was a great opportunity. Came away with the win, we lost one at the buzzer, and we won one, but just the opportunity, a lot of these guys, it was their first time going across the water, so it was, it was great for the team. You say you're a four-season guy. When I first met you three years ago, you were fresh off the plane from Florida. Right, right, you thought right. 50 degrees was cold. And now we're at the top, by the way. We're going right. to start to skirt back down the staircase. You thought 50 degrees was cold. Now you're a three-year Chicagoan. How are you adjusting? Oh, man, I'm, I, 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 I wish I had my Illinois ID on me, but it's amazing what a little bit of history, a little bit of tradition to do. I'm a Chicagoland guy now. I mean, I love the weather. I love that Harold's chicken. And I just, I like the, the whole deep dish. Like, I'm a Chicago guy. There we go. What, what else can I say? Love me some raised chicken as well, by the way. Chicken, <laughs> deep dish. Gerald Gillian is getting after it. Tell me what you usually eat before a game. Oh, I mean, it all depends. Like I said, like, I'm a Raisin Cane's type of guy. Three sauces, two pieces of bread, three chicken tenders. I mean, that's usually what I go for when I do eat. A lot of times I don't eat until after, but when I have that meal around game time, um, Raisin Cane's is what I go with. Tell me which of your players has the most NBA potential. Oh, that's so hard of a question. I'm, I, <laughs> when I say we have about nine or ten guys that – have a chance and you know it's all about doing a little thing that I tell them all the time being able to defend being able to play multiple positions and if you look at the roster it's about nine guys that have that opportunity who's going to take advantage of that opportunity is yet to be seen give me a goal for the remainder of the season coach to get better every day we're going to win some games, but it's not about just winning games. It's about getting better. It's about understanding basketball. It's about building that brotherhood, building that south side toughness. It's about just growing not only within yourself, but just within the program. Coach, a couple rapid fire ones for you. On the plane to Mexico, aisle, middle, or window? Window? Who will sit in an aisle seat? Of course. Me, no. so I can go to the bathroom. No, man, a window every day, all day. Oh, okay, I'm eliminating every restaurant in the world. You get to save one. What are you saving? Say it one more time. I'm eliminating every restaurant in the world. You get to save one. What are you saving? Ooh. On the restaurant, Dominican Republic, that's my brother's hotel. Awesome. Right. Sounds good. That was Spiraling the Staircase with head men's basketball coach, Gerald Gillian. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.
game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Halftime here at the Jones Convocation Center where Delaware State leads Chicago State by a 40-31 to 31 tally. Both teams started a little bit slow offensively, but really picked it up. Delaware State shooting 56% in that opening 20 minutes as we look at some halftime numbers. Chicago State as well, a team that has struggled this year offensively, scoring under 65 points per game, but 43%, including... A very solid 5 of 12 from beyond the arc, 42% there. Delaware State's been shooting it well, 2 of 3 from beyond the arc as well. At Chicago State, they're trailing by 9. The turnovers have been uh, a big factor, keeping them in it, where they were able to force 11. They had a plus 7 turnover differential at one point, but turned it over a few times near the end of the half. They're plus 2 in favor of the Cougars at halftime in the turnover battle. And the offensive rebounds for Delaware State, they're in favor Six to one, leading to second chance points. They're up by nine, are the Hornets, and it is ten nothing when it goes in the column of second chance points. They have been led by Jevin Munez, who was phenomenal. He started six of six with his first 17 points, finished the half with 17. He was perfect two of two from deep and three of three from the free throw line. We're back in a few minutes with the second half, the final 20 minutes of this battle. Chicago State looking for their first home win, and Delaware State looking for a win number three and what would be their third win already this year away from home. Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free it's game day at raising canes if you want to order like a champ forget about x's and o's the only play you're running is chicken so what combo are you picking we've got tailgates of hand battered cooked to order chicken fingers and cane sauce Touchdown! and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade this season is about to be unbeatable raising canes chicken fingers one love 
At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Hey, back in Chicago for halftime alongside Max Toma. I'm Sam Brief. A nine-point lead for Delaware State right now. And, Max, it was Jevin Munoz early, but it's really been Martez Robinson as of late. Yeah, Robinson preseason, first team all MEAC. We thought he was going to come out and ball out. And it was the Munoz show uh, for a long time there. He's been more the facilitator down the stretch of this first half after he started the night a perfect six of six. They've started to get Robinson going. I think that very last possession was very telling of the opening 20 minutes when they forced the turnover with six seconds left after the failed alley-oop and then went out and got virtually a buzzer beater layup. Jevin Munoz, you told me he's a three-level scorer. We've seen him score at all three levels, including two from beyond the arc, only missing one shot. And Jevin Munoz, second-year player out of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, taking over. But how about the Cougars sneakily hitting five threes from four different players? We knew Chicago State needed to hit from beyond the arc, and frankly, they have. Yeah, you felt coming in like they were going to get a lot when it comes to the volume of the threes. And if you told them and you told Gerald Gillian, hey, you're going to go out and shoot 5 of 12, you're going to shoot 42% from beyond the arc. There is that buzzer beater layup, by the way. Off the wrong foot, too. Crafty for Martez Robinson. But Chicago State would probably feel very good about those shooting numbers from deep, but they do find themselves trailing by nine. Two different ways to play a basketball game. Delaware State has only shot three from behind the arc, hit two of them. Cougars are five of 12. Also, Delaware State has Munoz with 17, Robinson with with 11. No one else even has five points. Chicago State, no one in double figures. They have four guys with five plus points. So way different types of styles as we come out for the second half. Nine point lead for Delaware State. Again, great to have you with us. These two teams, after not playing for a century, now playing back-to-back -back years. In a battle between Delaware State and Chicago State. This is Robinson, who had 11 in the first half, working off a Somerville screen. Raymond Somerville, no good on the teardrop, cleans up his own miss, has his first bucket of the night. Yeah, big to start getting him going, two down low, that huge six foot 11 presence. Uh, did not score in the first half after that. I mean, career game, really. 19-point effort last weekend. And that was on 8 of 9 shooting against Lamar. Davis nearly lost it. Shimmying around his defender. Looks like a foul call will be whistled against Somerville. That's a tough one for him. His fourth foul with only two points. Looks like he's getting set to check out. Yeah, went right after him. Did Brent Davis. Maybe he gets that arm around him, actually. I don't think there's a whole lot there going against Raymond Somerville. But a heady play, you could say, from the junior from Miramar, Florida, and help him get that fourth foul for him. Here's Cardet. And now Gene Charles on Munez. Chicago State, nine first half turnovers as Davis misses. Tavares clears and here come the quick move in Hornets. Johnson, off to Munez. Jevin Munez, he's been perfect from downtown and not anymore. Rebound tipped by Johnson to Cardet. And then he's fouled by Munez. It's the first foul on Jevin. Cougar ball. And that's why their first missed three in the open play of the offense, because the only miss prior was that heave that Tavares had at the end of the shot clock that was a straight up air ball. So Cougar ball now. Ked Green still hunting his first bucket of the day, only taking one shot. Davis 
against that 3-2 zone defense. This is the bread and butter of Delaware State defense under Coach Stan Waterman as Johnson pries it away. Cougar ball with 15 on the shot clock. Coach Waterman, third year lead man for Delaware State. He is a high school coaching legend. 30 seasons at Samford School in Delaware. Eight state titles, 571 wins. That's enough to bump you up to the college ranks. I'd hope so. Made the state title 33% of the time and eight and two at state championships. That's Tom Brady-esque. Cardet hits the three. Cougars are within eight. Tom Brady-esque. Eight and two at title games? All right. I mean, Brady, their Super Bowls and not, you know, Delaware State Championships. <laughs> Here's a make for Martez Robinson. He's got 13. Green whistles a pass into the corner for Gene Charles. Ked Green a three, yes sir. And the Cougars stay hot from beyond the arc. You said last possession looking for his first field goal make. He'd only attempted one. That looked clean, smooth, and in rhythm. Six of 14 are the Cougars from downtown. Almost Tom Brady-esque. <laughs> Here's Tavares with a nice spin. The freshman Tavares finds the open man. That's Robinson who rattles home a tray. Just when you think Tavares is driving a little bit off balance and off kilter and getting lost and caught in the air. What a dime across the court to the opposite wing. And now Martez Robinson, 16 points, six of eight shooting. He and Jevin Munez have done it all for the Hornets. Gene Charles. Called for the offensive foul. So Hornet ball on some over aggressive maneuvering. Yeah, take another look at it. As he spins in. That's the kind of a similar play to what I thought Brent Davis got away with that arm bar and looping it around the defender. It's one thing to hold your arm out, it's another thing to grab the defender like that. You get that chicken wing out. Andrews with a nice turnaround, and it's a 12-point lead for a suddenly hot Hornet offense. And this is a team that this year has had solid depth at times when it comes to scoring output. Their last win versus Bethude Cookman when they scored 72 points. They had five players at double figures. Delaware State, four of six in the second half. Green loses it. Corbett got it back, 10 to shoot. Corbett backing up. Against Andrews, that's a beautiful kiss off the glass for Ja'Shawn Corbett. More of that if you're Chicago State, the Cougars go to Corbett, and that was gorgeous, high off the glass, soft touch. Yeah, really gorgeous for a hobbled player who now has seven points. He's only missed one shot. Cougars get a steal. It's two on two. Cardet shimmies in and draws a foul. It's on Martez Robinson, his second. Yeah, strong tank, able to get right by Tavares, and then nice contest, but got a little bit of the hand on the way up, did Martez Robinson. Really only one player out there for Delaware State in foul trouble. Trouble, Somerville, you said, who has four. And then on the other side, Jake Charles has three, the only person really in any kind of foul trouble for the Cougars. Cardet hits his first free throw of the night. You mentioned some of the woes from the free throw line for Wesley, 63% on the season. Certainly Coach Gillian wants that to rise as he splits these two. And it's Hornet ball. Not for long. Gene Charles with a steal. He gets fouled and he'll go to the line. Nice play for the athletic sophomore. And that's the tough thing about freshmen, especially freshmen playing in November, is they're bound to have some of these freshman moments. And boy, was that one for DeWolk Tavares. This is unforced and unwarranted. And Gene Charles with an easy steal and trip to the line. Deshaun has seven points. Man, Chicago State not doing any favors from the charity stripe. Five misses tonight, two in the second half. Deshaun Jean Charles, Fort Lauderdale, Florida native. Has him within eight. And now here's a sub. Noble Crawford for Ked Green. Little more size for Chicago State. 6'5", replacing six even. And here comes Robinson. So 
For Delaware State, 17 points for Munez as we stay here, and 16 for Robinson. So those two have combined for 33. Everyone else has only 16. We're at the under 16. Chicago State down by eight, hunting their first home win of the season. At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers. One love. <laughs> Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Well, we haven't seen much of the Delaware State offense outside of Robinson and Munoz, but here was a nice little teardrop for the Illinois State transfer turned Delaware State Hornet, Alston Andrews. It's been a very efficient night for those Hornets. Yeah, Andrews perfect three for three. I mean, the man you're looking at, Munoz was obviously perfect for a good 12 or 13 plus minutes through that first half. And the volume was there too. Both these teams have hit their last three shots. Off to a hot start offensively here in the second half. Delaware State shooting 58% from the floor. That'll play as they look to snap a sketch, a tough stretch of three losses in their last four. As the Hornets come out with it in those smooth powder blues, it's Martez Robinson off to Kyle Johnson. Just five to shoot. Now it's Robinson against Gene Charles, finds the open man. That's Andrews missing badly. Air ball, so shot clock violation. And we go to the Cougars. That's like a broadcast jinx right there, right? We come back with a nice hit from Andrews, talk about he's perfect from the floor, and then it was almost silent in here until that ball landed. Yeah, we really stung him, didn't we? <laughs> he's a hornet, so I guess taste of his own medicine. Don't, right. don't poke the nest. Do not, do not. There's a miss for Crawford in and out, but Davis on an athletic move for the putback. Crawford nearly pries it away. It's still Hornets ball, really aggressive Chicago State full court defense here coming out in press. Yeah, it almost feels like their best offense has been this full court press, right? Because it's just raked havoc. They have forced a ton of turnovers in the backcourt for Delaware State and turned them into buckets or trips to the free throw line. Yeah, three Delaware State turnovers in the last minute 50. As Oba gets set to throw it in. Now we have some admonishing of the maybe guilty parties. I don't know of what. And what Chicago State lacks in size, they certainly have in speed and athleticism, and that really provides a, a great spurt and great energy for this full court press. Now we get to see it on display. Just three seconds to get it across. Munoz does. And gives it to his freshman point guard, D. Wilk Tavares. Tavares with his head down, handoff to Robinson. First team all MEAC preseason. And he misses from 20. Rebound for Oba. Delaware State has dominated the glass. Finding Oba down low amongst the trees. He's fouled by a Cougar. It'll go against Davis. That's Brent's second foul. 
What great body position from Wes Soba here down low to get that initial rebound. And then after a beautiful feed right back in, he gets triple teamed but able to draw the contact. Now the freshman throwing it in, and Tavares finds Robinson. Triggering right away, misses. Rebound Crawford. Cougars down two possessions. We have 14-20 left in the second half. Carded, directing traffic. We haven't seen this kind of slow down pace no. in a Kicking it old school. Back to Cardet, open for the three. He can't hit it, a bit strong, and Oba has the board. Gives it to Robinson. That was a strange possession for Chicago State. I'm just not used to it tonight. Yeah, behind the back pass, and then a beautiful fake for Corbett, but I think he kind of faked out Cardet as well, who was gonna cut, and then had to step back and take that fadeaway three. Squeezing through, Tavares throws it away to the Cougars. Here's Cardet, one on three, and he draws the contact, so Wes Cardet will go to the free throw line. You know, for a three on one against a freshman in the open floor, this is not a bad job by Tavares trying to draw the charge. Contact a little bit off to the side, strong tank from Cardet. That's when he's at his best, though. Great speed, and jolt of energy in the wingspan, and for Tavares, I believe that's only foul number two. It's seven foot two wingspan for Cardet. I feel like for Tavares, he was just hung out to dry, but really held his footing, as you mentioned. Now Cardet, one of four from the free throw line today. 10 of 16 as a team. Now, when you're down by six, I mean, that's tough to look at. If you're it's easy, Gillian, Yeah. Easy points to make up. Cardet hits the back end. And the Cougars are within five. So 13.30 left in the second half. Delaware State with it. First time ever facing Chicago State here in Chicago after they took him down last year at home in Dover. Robinson, a teardrop from an awkward angle. He gets it to go. What a beauty for the new leading scorer, Martez Robinson. Acrobatic play in the air, kind of contorting the body, and somehow he has surpassed Munoz, which is incredible. <laughs> it is incredible. Never thought I'd live to utter the words as Cardet misses. And a rebound to Oba. Here come the Hornets. Robinson falls down. It's a foul on Noble Crawford, his first, and the Cougars' third. I mean, there was a time when Munoz has 17 of Delaware State's 21 points. Now they have 51, and he still has 17. Yeah, his last bucket was at the 8.20 mark of the first half, and I believe that's when I said he's scored 20 and three times this year. He's at 17. And of course, of course he's going to get oh, 20 tonight. It's a no-brainer. He's still got 13 minutes. It's fine. It's not like you wagered your life savings <laughs> on it, I think. I trust. 12.54 on the clock, by the way. This might be and a contact lens issue. For who? Looked like for Alston Andrews. I don't know. He was holding that right eye. It seems like we're all right now. Gave, gave him the thumbs up, though. Gerald Gillian getting a quick half-second timeout. A little conference with his guys. As one of them, Kedrick Green gets a pickpocket steal. Gives it to Gene Charles, and it's pried loose by Tavares. Here comes Munoz in the Hornets, and he's bodied hard on a foul. Next stop free throw line for Jevin Munoz. Boy, on one end, Kendrick Green, I think he's going to wish that he could have this back and just take the layup because he wound up having a clean look at the rim and trying to dish it off at the last second. This was a very hard and loud fall to the hardwood. Good to see him spring right back up. Third foul on Davis. We could hear that Munoz thump right in front of us as his coach, Stan Waterman, presides. And now Munoz nails the front end, his first point since the eight-minute mark of the first half. Is he facing center court when that went in? That was a confident shot. He turned around full 180. Right away. I don't think I've ever seen that on a free throw in the middle of a game. Let's see if he does it again here. It's been that kind of night for Munez, only missing two shots. He did the little turnaround a little later this That's time. That's the guy you want at the free throw line at the end of the game. <laughs> That's confidence. On the season, he's a 70% free throw shooter. 
Robinson steals it. And up nine with the ball here is Tavares in the Hornet offense. Back to the hoop for a moment. Finds Oba. Chicago State, meanwhile, three minutes without a field goal. Time to clamp down defensively. Munez on Crawford with seven to shoot. Munez, the turnaround. He finds the bottom of the net again. Jevin Munez, well, finally, we can say he has 20, 21. No jinx for me. Uh, he has just been certainly the player of the game, really, since the opening tip. That ball thrown into no man's land, and it's Chicago State's 13th turnover of the night, and it sends us to the under-12 media timeout. It's an 11-point lead for Delaware State. 6-0 run. Hornets starting to dominate this thing. Coach Gillian and the Cougars have to figure it out down 11. We're back after this. Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Canes chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Jevin Munoz scored 17 points in 12 minutes. Then he got shut out for over 10, and then he went on a little scoring spur. Munoz is back. Yeah, basically had an ISO on the left side of the floor and just took his man all the way to the rim and had a soft touch all night long. We have 11.50 left in this one, and the Hornets are up by 11. With the ball, here's Robinson. Draws a foul on Tristan Arnaud. That's his first. And the Cougars getting close to giving bonus basketball away. Five team fouls. So, so far, tonight has followed almost exactly the opposite of the script Chicago State's game against Loyola. They've trailed almost the entirety of this game tonight. They've only led for 18 seconds. And at this exact time a few days ago in the inner city matchup, they were down. They are up by 10, excuse me. Now they're down 11. How can they close this? Robinson misses, and Crawford clears with an aggressive rebound. And after snaring it, brings it up the court. Yeah, Chicago State was up 10 with 12 minutes left up in Rogers Park against Loyola, and then fizzled away late in a nine-point loss. So let's see if they can really reverse that. Here at home, get their first home win. Gene Charles a three, no, and he doesn't get a call. And then he somehow ends up with the ball and a foul. So Gene Charles goes from the miss to the charity strike. And that's why you follow your shot. You never know exactly how it's going to wind up, but a lot of times it might wind up right back in your grasp, and that's exactly what happened here. After that chaotic play, trying to save it, it goes right back to Gene Charles, and those arms just bent over. Easy call against Wesley Ova. So down 11, Gene Charles to the line and continues a rough 
free throw night for Chicago State. 11 of 18. Deshaun, 75% free throw shooter on the season. And the Floridian puts home the second. The last three times the Cougars have been to the line, they have missed the first and made the second. Feels like a trend you want to change. Yeah, absolutely. Tavares to Oba. And that's a travel call. Pretty easy one for the near official. 17 Delaware State turnovers. I just got the feet going a little bit too quick there, did Wesley Oba. Hornets average 16 turnovers a game, so now with 10 minutes left, already above the season average. And in the corner, Crawford watches it sail. It did not get a Delaware State hand. Just a bad pass from Arnaud. So Hornets ball. We mentioned Gerald Gillian's team coming off the Loyola loss. That was Tuesday. Meanwhile, Delaware State, a little more rested. They played over the weekend against Lamar, an overtime loss in which Martez Robinson had 27 points and 11 boards. Now Robinson today, 18 points, three boards. Munoz loses it, gets it back, and finds Oba. And then Wesley commits a double dribble. Back-to-back right, -back turnover. That's got to be a tech, too. Uh, he did just get teed up. Yep. And that's back-to-back -back trips down the floor for Oba, where the feet just got going a little bit before uh, he was thinking correctly there, was going to have an easy chance at the rim. And then anytime you slam the ball down with both hands and you don't catch it on the way back up, and it shoots, in this case, that was probably a good 15 feet up in the air. That's going to be an easy tech every time. That shows you how strong he is. <laughs> yeah. A lot of muscle to get the ball bouncing that high. Looked like a volleyball drill you see pre-match where you're just pegging it into the ground. Cougars hit the first free throw for the first time in a while. Let's watch what caused the technical. You see Oba with it. Let's watch that Super Bowl bounce. Can't blame him for being frustrated. A travel and a double dribble on back-to-back -back possessions. It might have been short him on the 15 feet, too. That might have been closer 17, to 20. 17, 18? Yeah. There's Oba on the bench. He was just replaced by Cameron Stitt. 10 in the blue, making his first appearance of the night. Junior forward out of Charlotte. It's Jared Gillian getting animated. It's a very vociferous head coach for Chicago State. And approaching 10 minutes, his team within striking distance. Down eight. Cardet from the free throw line. And the rebound is Stitt, who just came in the game. No buckets in five minutes now for the home team. Munez with a nice interior pass. Stitt is fouled. Cameron sit to the line, foul on Wesley. That stit comes in, they go right to him. Nifty bounce pass it from Munoz, who can do absolutely no wrong today. And it looked like the ball was already a little bit jarred loose there before Cardin actually got it, but a foul nevertheless. Stitt has scored five points this season, three of them from the free throw line, where he's three of four. Make it three of five. Just the third miss of the night from the free throw line for Delaware State. Cameron out of Charlotte's Porter Ridge High School. Hits the back end. It's kind of been the MO for free throws tonight. Miss one, make one. Here's Tristan Arnaud. He's wide open and he banks it home. That time it looked more like 2-3 than 3-2, so top of the key was just absolutely unmarked and uncovered, and Arno, you got to hit that, and he did. And we said pregame the Cougars need to hit their threes. Tonight, 42% as they force Delaware State turnover 19. And now a reversal of call saying tip out on the Cougars, so it's still Hornets basketball. Oh, momentum was up in the air going both ways for a little bit there. Chicago State thought they cut it to two possessions and have been forced a quick turnover. So Robinson handles for Delaware State. And he finds Munez at the right wing. Only five to shoot. The aggressive Munez misses the shot. And Alston Andrews on the board. Fresh 20. But right away, mid-ranger, teardrop, good for Tavares. So that is the first bucket he has seen go through the net now yes. after the goal, 10 on the one prior. But that is a smooth mid-range jumper. Silky. The man of silk with four. 
against what looks like a 3-2. Here's Cardet after thinking about a three. It's Gene Charles, 4-3, no. And foul on Munez. So Jevin Munez whistled for his second. Delaware State's seventh team foul means free throw for Chicago State. Eighth team foul, excuse me. So Brent Davis to the charity stripe. He's one for two on the night. Tristan Arnell right now in there is one of the two guys trying to rebound a potential miss for Chicago State. Five foot ten. Little guy. Getting aggressive there with Cam Stitt. That was the speed. You got to use the speed, right? Looking to weasel his way around the six foot eight Stitt. Who next to him looks a good seven two. Watch this, Arnaud <laughs> lunging for it, but it's Davis who gets it and then gets fouled again. Did Tristan Arnaud's box out lead to that rebound? That's creating chaos. That's a beautiful job because he changed it up. He went for speed around the low block on his side last time. This time cut it across and kind of created a loose ball situation. So fighting for little guys everywhere. Of course, Tristan Arnaud is going to hang in there. Let's see what Davis feeds him. The ninth team foul for Delaware State. I guess that's why he's down there, right? And that is 100% hand on the way up. The foul on Stid. Okay, let's watch this. Davis makes it. We saw Arnaud try that wraparound move again. These are the things that go unnoticed as Chicago State suddenly is down just five. Only 18 seconds tonight with a lead. An important nine-minute stretch coming up. Top of the circle, it's Stitt. And a foul goes against Chicago State's Brent Davis, who now looks apoplectic. Whistled for. I think they got Arno away from the ball. No, it's Arno. It's there. Arno. That's his second. Would have been huge, though, because Davis is out there sitting on four and four defending fouls. pretty tightly, very far away from the hoop, too. Both teams are in the bonus, and Robinson makes him pay. He's four for four tonight from the free throw line. Yeah, think about how poorly Chicago State has been at the line. Then look at what the best players out there for Delaware State have done. If Robinson hits this, him and Munoz will be combined a perfect 10 at 10. He does. He add in Tavares to that, make it 12 of 12 for Delaware State. So here's Cardet with some urgency. Pocket picked. But on the ground, he gets it back, and it's out of bounds off a Hornet. So Cougar ball. Chicago State getting out-rebounded by 13 tonight. But they've hit five more threes. They have forced four more turnovers. And because of that, Cougars are right in it, looking for their first home win of the season. After 8-0 at this fortress last year, Chicago State 0-3 at home. Got another home opportunity coming on Sunday, 1 o'clock against Stetson. They want to take care of business tonight. Cardet knifes through and is fouled. Cameron Stitt, the guilty party. His second. And this one's turning into a free throw fest. Yeah, Stitt gets over just a little bit late. It looked like Cardet had lost the ball, but still crashes into him, gets the call, and... Let's see if we can hit the first free throw this time. A new rule this year in college basketball, defender must plant both feet before the offensive player plants the foot he's using to drive. So in that case, called the defensive foul, and Cardet continuing positive momentum from the free throw line. Here's Somerville checking in. I thought you were going to say new rule this year. you got to miss the first free throw, then make the next one. Feels like they followed that tonight. <laughs> Wes Cardet, five of eight from the charity stripe. As we wait for some things to be sorted out. Oh, here's a little bit of blood. The issue. That's Alston Andrews getting cleaned up. That's a lot of blood. We fell down on the elbow. Oh, that's a lot of blood. So we'll take a little pause here. 8.27 left and a quick game reset for you if you're just joining us. 
first 10 minutes of this game were really unique in that 17 of the first 21 Delaware State points were scored by Jevin Munez. He's been a little quieter since, and we've seen a lot of Martez Robinson taking over. Chicago State, as a result of those two, has been playing catch up almost all evening. So eight minutes, 27 seconds left. Wes Cardet for the second of two with the blood cleaned up. Cougars within five as he hits it. And now Gene Charles gets some rest. Noble Crawford getting some run. Big couple of possessions before we get to the second to last media timeout. Aggressive half-court defense for the Cougars. Trapped is Tavares, gets rid of it. And now down low, Somerville's blocked by Crawford. Teardrop good for Martez Robinson. He is there to clean it up. And a timeout called by his coach, Stan Waterman. So Martez Robinson now with a game high 22 points. We step aside for immediate timeout. It's a seven point lead for Delaware State and we're back in Chicago in just a moment. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. It's game day, raising canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy. 8.07 left and Martez Robinson, Delaware State's leading scorer, starting to take this game over. He's got 22 points. He's only missed five shots tonight, Max. Yeah, what a big rebounded finish that is after Noble Crawford, who's at a six-inch height disadvantage there, picked up the huge swat off the glass. But Martez Robinson there to clean it up. Boy, him and Munoz have been just simply sensational today, combined for 43 points and 15 of 23 from the field, and they're both perfect from the line. Only eight field goals have dropped tonight for Delaware State for guys not named Munez or Robinson. Really cold for the other Hornets, really hot for those two. Meanwhile, the Cougars have been down between three and 11 points for most of this game. Down seven right now around the perimeter. Here's Corbett attacking. He swings it to Davis. Three balls off. Offensive board, Cardet. Shot was blocked. Davis is there for the third putback. You get an offensive board and put it right back up with the putback. Chicago State has the answer with one of their own. Yeah, now Brent Davis with a team high 16 points on a quiet, wonderful night for him. Alston Andrews, though, with the response for Delaware State. Huge one. That's kind of a crowd silencer after a second yeah. chance bucket. 
So seven point lead for Delaware State. And here go the Cougars. In the corner, Corbett triggers a three, and that's off the side of the backboard. Got his own board, and then blocked. Well, that was a rough possession. Side of the board, right back to you, that Andrew's having none of it at the rim. So Robinson guiding this Delaware State offense. Finds Munoz, that hot first half, quiet second half. Just four points. Tavares a three, yes sir. D. Wilk Tavares, the freshman heating up. Boy, there's the flash, and we've seen a lot of them offensively from that freshman this year. Talking about the 19 points last weekend versus Longwood. That was simply sensational. A I mean, dagger. Killer crossover and then open three drilled it. And now Gene Charles can't drill that one. Chicago State starting to cool down as Munoz somehow wins the battle in the corner and then throws it away to Cardet. We got a whistle and a foul call. Let's see who this one's against. I think they're gonna get Gene Charles who kind of dove into Somerville's legs. And that would be the fourth for him. He would join Davis with four for Chicago State. Munoz is so close to going out of bounds there in the corner. That's probably the best case scenario given where he was and the amount of arms clamoring about right next to him. Now we have a timeout on the floor, 6.01 on the clock. Max, this has been a pretty funky one, right? What, what stood out to you today in, in the realm of funkiness? Well, you know, this feels like just about every game we have done, you and I, uh, here at Jones Convocation Center for the Chicago State uh, Cougars, and they've been in all three of those ones. They got blown out uh, against UT Martin their last time out here at home, but they've been right there. They just haven't been able to get over the hurdle, and that's certainly been the story all night long, hanging around, hanging around, hanging around. Delaware State hasn't been able to, to land that lethal blow yet, uh, but they're feeling very good about where they stand right now, up by 10. Six minutes to go. They have led for nearly 33 of the 34 minutes. A lot of talk tonight, of course, about Tavara, or excuse me, about Munoz and Robinson for these guys. Well, how about for Chicago State? 16 for Brent Davis, 14 for Wes Cardet. Who has stood out for the Cougars in your eyes? Well, I think definitely Davis with the energy. Uh, he's been sensational, and he's been out there with four fouls for a, a long stretch of time, and it hasn't uh, made him any worse with the wear defensively. He's still been out there guarding Tavares pretty tightly uh, and following him everywhere as soon as he gets across half court. And then Cardet, yeah, you knew he was going to have a bounce back game after what we saw versus Loyola. I'm sure he was kicking himself in a game where his team played great for half an hour and and then slumped late in the final 10 minutes. Uh, he just didn't showcase it offensively. Only six points. It was far and away his worst game on that side of the floor. He's a guy who's always going to bring the defense with his length uh, and aggressiveness, just tenacious on that side. But uh, we knew he would come out and have a better offensive game, and he has. But still three and nine from the field only. Uh, he's missed three free throws. He probably thinks he could be a, a little bit better than what he has been so far. Now look at both of these sides right now, Chicago State and Delaware State. Only having met once in the history of these programs. It was last year, six point win for Delaware State back home in Dover. So back end of a home and home this season. As their big man, the transfer from Cal State Bakersfield, Raymond Somerville, comes to the charity stripe. He's been quiet tonight. Hits the front end. Yeah, pretty stoic guy. And not sure exactly what he's dealing with on that right hand either, but you can tell after he makes that free throw, all the high fives coming with the left hand. You see the big white bandage on the right, and he hits the second. So Somerville now, four points, four boards. Here's Chicago State trailing by 12. Needs emergency for the Cougars, now under six to go. Looking to attack this zone defense. Davis with the team high 16, bounces it into trouble. Cardet fights for it, loses the fight. Hornet ball. Tavares after the turnover. Freshman smartly pulling up, slowing down as you sense only 5.30 left. You can start to move a bit slower, up 12. And we don't see them pull back the reins much, but certainly with time and score, now is the time. Yeah, this is a fast team. 
Robinson spins out of trouble and finds the bottom of the net. 24 points. God, it's almost a quiet 24, uh, given what Munoz has done, maybe a little bit flashier, but Robinson's been hitting almost everything he's thrown up towards the rim here in the second half, and, and he is smooth around the rim. Mm, that was a beautiful move, just slithering in. As Arnaud finds Gene Charles, heads down, step back jumper. Got it to go to Sean Gene Charles. Now in double figures with 11. And that ends a 9-0 run over the last 2-0-3. And then Tavares throws it away, another freshman mistake. Turnover 19 for the Hornets. Yeah, and for Tavares, that's his sixth turnover already. And that's the, at least the second one that's been nearly under his own hoop and just a, a very wayward pass. I should say near his own hoop. Hasn't made it too far down the court by the time he chucks that. Corbett's back in for Gene Charles. Corbett's played 31 minutes with a facial fracture and an impacted tooth. He's only eating soft foods and liquids for the last week or so. Says he's felt weak, tired, lost some weight. But they're gonna need his minutes down the stretch as Davis misses a three. And the rebound to Andrews. Approaching the four minute mark. Ball's in Robinson's hands and that's good news if you're a Hornet fan. Team's up 12. Munoz in the corner, passes down the baseline into Corbett's hands. Now 20 Delaware State turnovers. Here's Davis shimmying through. Bounce pass through Cardet. Hit off a Hornet. And we will stay on this side. But that's after the under four media timeout. Our final pause of the night. Now or never for Chicago State. Gerald Gillian and his team have to figure it out. Down 12, we'll be back. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Canes chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Back in Chicago, under four to go, and Delaware State up 12, thanks to this lethal play by Martez Robinson. Just when you think you have him doubled along the baseline. I mean, he is just crafty. Smooth scorer has 24, a game high, as Neal can't stick the three out of bounds. Delaware State ball, and now it feels like they can just start to drain clock with under four. Crazy to think that 17 of the first 21 points for the Hornets came via Jevin Munoz, and well, now Robinson is their leading scorer by three. What would you say if I told you at that 10 minute mark that Munoz wouldn't be the leading scorer? I probably would have guessed that maybe Cardet would go off if it was yeah. in terms of the game leading yeah. score, but it would be hard pressed to guess that somebody else on Del Delaware State was going to come back with that kind of a surge. But if you did have a guess, you would have guessed it was Robinson. Robinson had 27 in the overtime loss at Lamar last week. And now it's Andrews looking for Robinson, hit off his shoe out of bounds, 
It'll go to the Cougars. Yeah, Martez Robinson, preseason first team all MEAC. Scored 12 a game last year, 16 a game this year. And that number will only climb for the sensational score. Yeah, a guy who has just done everything so well this year. 45% entering today from deep. He won a three from three so far today. Also an 82 plus percentage free throw shooter. Neil, no dice. On the putback, Gene Charles is fouled, I think by Somerville, which might foul him out. Let's watch it. I think they got Martez Robinson, it Robinson, sounded like, yep. so that'll be his fourth. Foul with trouble times two for Delaware State. Somerville and Robinson with four. Cougars have improved from the charity strike now at 20 of 28 on the night. And now Chicago State has hit 21 free throws and 16 field goals. Eight of them from beyond the arc. So only eight shots from two point range. Delaware State is shooting 17% better than their season average right now. It's been an offensive clinic. Led by Munoz in the first half, Robinson in the second. With assist from this freshman point guard, Tavares, and now Somerville throws it into total no man's land and into the eighth row. I think you're legally mandated after you make that kind of a pass to do exactly what Raymond Somerville did, and that is just look at your hands like you're a tennis player that just hit one into the crowd. Got to look what? at the tools, right? Like, hey, what, what are, are you, you doing? doing? You let me down. That wasn't where it was supposed <laughs> to go. Can't get new hands. At least not yet. No technological <laughs> innovations. Not, in not to our knowledge. The limb replacement. Here's Carda. On the baseline, throws it right to Robinson. It's a costly turnover with time of the essence. Tavares misses, Cougars get a second chance. Carter with a head of steam, the big man. Nice spin move, gets it to go. And that's why he's an NBA prospect right there. Speed and agility, and then the quick 360 spin and the soft touch at the glass. Cardet, 16 points. Cougars need defensive stops. Two minutes to go, down eight. Here comes a double team on Robinson. Feels like a good idea. And then Davis picks Tavares' pocket. Brent Davis tips to Crawford, who misses a sort of wild shot. And it's a big missed opportunity for CSU. Man, a lot happened there. Uh, for starters, what a poke away for Brent Davis, who I actually thought stepped out of bounds. They said he stayed in. And then he kind of just lost it and just tapped it up, it looked like, for the alley-oop. And just a, a very disjointed chance to break out and try to pull this to a two-possession game if they got that lay. The timeout, Delaware State. That was a weird, weird play. And Delaware State, with 23 turnovers tonight, is staring down possibly their second road win of the season. Here's yeah, that weird one. I mean, that's, this is just all sorts of awkward. And that's a pretty clean look still at the rim for Noble Crawford. Not the way you draw it up, but you got to hit that layup and make it a six-point game. And on the other side, how is Delaware State somehow, they're, they're minus seven at turnovers. They have 23. But points off turnovers is a battle. Four. They are actually winning right now. I've never seen that. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. 23 points off turnovers to 22. They have been advantageous. See assistant coach Barrington Terry, Jelani Hewitt, Scott Spinelli, part of the squad under third-year lead man Gerald Gillian. Team that went 8 and 0 at home last year, staring down an 0 and 4 start in the friendly confines. Now for Delaware State, this is it's a team that only has two wins, but you talk about battle tested. They've only played one game at home. They played at Texas, they played at Penn State. The team has faced a lot of adversity early in the year. And you can tell. It's a gritty team that here is up eight with 100 seconds left. Tavares one on two. Bounce feed to Andrews. They take their time. Tavares with the bucket. The freshman has 11. Got 11, six and three so far. He's been mighty consistent. Guy who barely ever sits on the bench. He's gonna log 37, maybe 38 minutes today again. 
Now Wesley Cardet to the free throw line. Yeah, Tavares has eight turnovers, but he's made up for it. Efficient down the stretch. And Wesley Cardet ready for his 10th and 11th free throws of the evening. It's the front end. Seven of 10 tonight. Bounce back from a rough start. Yeah, and he's seven of nine from the free throw line in the second half. Wesley Cardet, NBA draft prospect, projected as a second round pick. And his Cougars have work to do. Down nine. Back the other way, Somerville loses it. And then somehow gets it back. He's trapped in the corner. Shimmies around Gene Charles and they got, got a timeout. Not, they got a timeout off, but I mean, that was a great find. Munoz knows he's got a man in front of him. All he has to do is fling the ball. There's only one guy on that side of the court. Unfortunately, it was a six foot uh, 11 big man who just, uh, I mean, completely let it get away from him, but somehow was lucky enough to get it back. And that was a very fortunate break for the Hornets just to come away with the ball and a timeout. Still have 20 on the shot clock. This has been one of those games that's been messy, comfortably messy, right? Oh, 39 absolutely. turnovers, balls bouncing everywhere. It's just about who can keep their head. Yeah, and uh, I mean, as you know, dirty and mucked up as it's been at, at points, uh, I think the most impressive thing we've seen so far tonight is the Delaware State offense, which really hasn't had, outside of that 11-0 run for Chicago State, which, keep in mind, was kick-started a lot by the defense and turnovers, the half-court sets, the half-court offense from Delaware State and their ability to get out and run and get down the floor before Chicago State can get down and man up and set up their defense uh, has certainly opened my eyes today. So with wide eyes, we watch Delaware State's impressive offense. 24 points for Martez Robinson, 21 for Jevin Munez. I mean, think about it. They're shooting, yeah. sorry to interrupt, 56% from the field, 50% from deep, 83% from the free throw line. That's incredibly impressive all the way across the board. 50, 50, 80 will almost always <laughs> yeah, win you the I game. I would hope. Even with 23 turnovers. So shooting the ball well, turning the ball over a lot, and still managing to be on top. That's been the formula for Stan Waterman's team. Here's Tavares, the freshman. Back to Robinson. Steady hand finds the freshman again. And with eight to shoot, we are under a minute to go. A foul called against Tristan Arnaud, his third. And free throws come in for Tavares. Not going to lie, I really wanted to see Tavares pull up at the end of that shot clock because that was a guy as soon as he got it back in his hands. Even though he's a freshman, even though today is the final day of his first month of collegiate basketball, you just felt like he had an eye for the hoop right there. Well, now he can make it up at the free throw line. And he doesn't find the bottom of the net. So Cougar ball down eight. This is Davis. Lost it. And we're going the other way. That is possibly a game ender. That's just a back-breaking moment. You get the free throw miss at the front end of a one-and-one, -and, -one and you get a chance to get out and run with one of your better offensive players and Davis. Just completely lost it off the foot. That's tough. Here's Andrews. Throws it in to Somerville. Fouled right away. Feels like maybe the guy to foul. Raymond Somerville on the season, 7 of 13 from the free throw line. Hey, you're also fouling a guy who hasn't been out there a ton given it's all relative. He's a starter. He's only been out there 22 minutes because he's been in foul trouble just about the whole night. No one's played more tonight than both Robinson and Munez. All 39 minutes for the two leading scorers. They've been out there the whole time, and, I mean, Tavares is, is, is not far behind. That's kind of a three-headed monster right now. And Somerville in and out. Team picks sixth preseason in the MEAC out of eight. It's going to be a scrappy bunch. They're going to be certainly, no matter what the record, be an enjoyable team to watch all year long. It's an efficient offense. You've got two really good scorers in Robinson and Munez. And Max, they're not even fully healthy. Cardetta three. He got fouled. 
So he'll go to the line for three free throws. Chicago State down nine, 43 ticks on the clock. Stan Waterman saw that play, immediately turned around, took three steps, sat on the bench, and then put his head in his hands. You can't be making that kind of a foul. There's no reason to even contest at this point. You're up by nine, 44 seconds. No reason to be close to a three-point shoot. And Cardet can bring this to a two-possession game. As Wesley has shot 12 free throws tonight. We mentioned some of the injuries for Delaware State. Corey Perkins has missed all but the first three this season. Tonight, no Brandon Stone and barely any Kyrie Statton. We saw him for just a quick two minute stretch. Yeah, Brandon Stone was another guy. One of three players preseason all MEAC on the first or second team. They had three of the 10 players honored, and this team is picked six, which I think shows you it's not to be a prognosticator, but they didn't think this team was going to have a ton of depth. Right, sort of top heavy. And then Somerville is fouled, so Chicago State's able to foul the guy they presumably want to. They send the big man back to the free throw line. Or check that, it's going to be Alston Andrews. Andrews has been much more efficient from the free throw line, 8 of 11 on the season. But 0 for 2 on the night. Two possession game, these are important. Front end's good. So Corbett's back. He has played 33 minutes tonight. Seven points, one board. Both well below season average. So clutch free throws for Andrews, and this feels like Chicago State's last gasp. Tavares almost came up with a sneaky steal. Love that. He knew exactly where that was going after the make. Right it perfectly, just couldn't keep it in. I can tell you like watching D. Wilk Tavares. Aggressive. Yeah, and he, he started the game. I mean, think about the first four shots he had. Tough. Three of them were only loosely in the vicinity of going in. Arno with three. It's off. That was loosely in the vicinity <laughs> of going in. And Tavares got the board and fouled. Yeah, Tavares has been super impressive and interesting to see what he can do once he gets into conference play because he's a guy who's been out there. That guy played 48 minutes in a game a week ago and again, went to double OT. 48 of 50, and then he followed it up the next day and played 38 of the 40 minutes his last time up. So he's this a is, freshman, he's got fresh legs, right? Yeah, thrown into the fire, and he's performed admirably, and you know he's only going to get better and better as this season progresses. And due to the injuries, I mean, how important are the minutes he is logging going to be when they get towards the end of the season, and even going forward into next year, which we're a long way away from. Freshman out of Jersey goes 0 for 2 on this trip. And now Wesley Cardet driving in, gets fouled, and will make his 15 and 16th free throw attempts. Yeah, if you were going to ask Stan Waterman, uh, what does your team need to do better right now? It is stop fouling Wesley Cardin Jr. After these, Chicago State's going to have 36 free throw attempts tonight. This is going to be his 15th of the second half. Feels like deja vu all over, all over, all over. So Cardet, 21 points, 11 of 14 from the free throw line. And the back end is good. Now here comes A.J. Neal for defensive purposes. He's going to replace Corbett. Let's see what Chicago State comes out with. Full court pressure. Figure you need a quick steal or quick foul. Munez, he found. Martez Robinson, Chicago State doesn't want to foul him and forces him to throw it away. It's Cougar ball. Well, certainly probably the largest eyesore in terms of things to work on going forward into the weekend and into next week for Delaware State is going to be controlling the ball. Cardet falls on it. And from his behind to Neal, now outside, open three Crawford off the front end and with four seconds left, that'll do it. Davis 
At the buzzer, no, and Delaware State comes in and takes down Chicago State for the second straight season. A virtual wire-to-wire -wire victory for the Hornets. They pick up their second road win of the season. We'll break it down on the other side. It's a final from Chicago, Delaware State by seven. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. game day in Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Back here in Chicago, wrapping up a 76-69 win. Delaware State on top of Chicago State alongside Max Toma. I'm Sam Brief. Well, Max, it was really a two-headed monster for Delaware State tonight. Martez Robinson and Jevin Munez. What did they do so well? And it was almost a tale of two halves, right? Because it was Munez all over the place in the first half. Made his first six shots. 17 of the team's first 21 points. Uh, and then on the other side, Martez Robinson in the second half. His ability uh, at the rim to finish some Finesse shots close to the rim. Him spinning baseline when he got double teamed and the shot clock was winding down. Uh, that was wild. Um, they did everything just so well. And uh, I think uh, Munez in the second half also facilitated the offense well, too. For Chicago State, Wesley Cardet with the team high 21 points. They did force 23 turnovers, but certainly some things have to get better for the Cougars as they face Stetson at 1 o'clock on Sunday, looking to break a four game home losing streak to start the season. Well, it was raining threes early for Chicago State, but then this mightily efficient Delaware State offense, they came to play 56% from the floor as Stan Waterman's team takes down the Cougars. It's been wonderful to have you with us from Chicago alongside Max Toma and our championship crew. I'm Sam Brief saying so long from Chicago where it's the Hornets over the Cougars. We'll see you Sunday.